component emission. Okay, so let's close down because we are going over time and uh, we won't have much time for uh, after party. Well, uh, we will have basically infinite after party anyway, but I have a few closing slides before we move there. So please uh, 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 just some patience. Uh, there, is, uh, there are not that, that many slides. So first of all, thanks uh, to everyone who contributed and who stayed until the end. Yeah, it was uh, almost uh, uh, six hours by now. And yeah, it was quite a packed agenda. Uh, so, but I think that it worked pretty well uh, because yeah, there were a lot of discussions. Uh, we had a, a really active State of the Union session. Uh, next time we should uh, maybe make it even faster. Uh, and user panel, it was a great experiment and I believe that we should keep doing them. Uh, thanks to Mark for leading newcomer track. Uh, Mark, could you share some expertise from this track? How did yeah. it go? Uh, I was delighted with it. We had a relatively small group, uh, three presenters, five, six, and seven uh, participants. And we talked about topics that were interesting to them. Thanks very much to them for being involved. It was a great thing. I think we're gonna get some plugins adopted as a result. And I know we're getting more help from some people who are wanting to be more involved. Yeah, thanks a lot. Was this session a recorder for anyone that might need to go back it, to it? It was recorded, yeah. I've, I've got the recording in my, in my Zoom chat in my Zoom feed, and I will upload it along with the other recordings from the yeah. from these. I, the I would have summit. loved to be do that, so I'll probably follow it. Thank mm. you. Great. Yeah, currently we have uh, contributing to Jenkins playlist uh, on Jenkins YouTube channel, so you can find it there. I won't spend time right now to find it, uh, but yeah, I believe that Mark will put the uh, recordings uh, there as well, so that uh, you can uh, take a look. And uh, there are already uh, a lot of recordings uh, from previous sessions. So thanks a lot uh, for driving with Mark. Also, yeah, I think that uh, breakout sessions were pretty good. I jumped uh, into almost every session. Uh, there were nice discussions. Uh, there were some action items. So for example, for uh, terminology update, yeah, it was really a nice discussion. The GitHub actions uh, uh, was awesome. Um, yeah, I'm just looking to repeating this a Jenkins online meetup, maybe with hundreds of participants. Cloud events integration was pretty good as well. Uh, Jenkins Kubernetes operator was good. Open telemetry again, they uh, had a great discussion between uh, basically Jenkins and Jenkins X communities here. So Vincent Behar joined the shared experience with visualization, open telemetry and others. So plugin and top up life policy that we even have a plan. Uh, so last, when I was leaving this session last time, they were drawing a kind of decision tree, uh, how we actually decide whether plugin is uh, inactive or not, which is a quite a challenging question. So I'm looking forward uh, to it being adopted as a kind of job because it was a struggle for us for a long time. We made at least three attempts uh, to standardize it and have always failed. And yeah, Tekton interoperability, Jenkins X interoperability, all of them were good discussions. For Java 11, maybe James North could uh, summarize it because I failed to visit the session. Or oh, James left. Oh, Mike, uh, could you please summarize? Yeah. Maybe he's offline. Well, or Oleg, if you'd like, I can give a brief summary. Oh, yeah, yeah please go ahead. So, Java 11 was discussed in depth. Uh, looking at alternatives, including, hey, should we drop support for Java 8? We were really grateful to have some, some users attending with us, uh, Marcel and, and Jonathan, and it worked very, very well for us to have those users there to assist and discuss, um, outlined a, a rough plan that we think is appropriately conservative and looks still forward to the future. It'll be coming as a Jenkins enhancement proposal and be discussed in the mailing list before that. Okay. So goals of this session would be totally achieved. Well, I would have liked, I would certainly would have liked to have a final, all sorts of things, but we, we really had a great mm -hmm. conversation and good notes captured mm -hmm. from it to, as what next steps are. Okay, great. So thanks to all participants of this session and uh, thanks to all hosts, because yeah, hopefully it uh, helped us uh, to uh, push the projects forward. Unite Talks and Demos here. Yeah, it was uh, just a, uh, well, again, a fun time. And I hope it was also a learning exper 
Prince, thanks to Hashi, thanks to Ioannis for great presentations. Uh, um, yeah, again, Ioannis, I'm looking forward to, uh, to see uh, the full presentation, maybe even uh, um, the solutions page about uh, uh, Jenkins for data science and life science, because yeah, I know that you've written a lot of blogs, so maybe it's time to aggregate them. And yeah, for Harshit, uh, yeah, looking forward to JSOC demos, uh, and thanks a lot for working on your project. And yeah, currently we are closing down, so we are going, going slightly over time, but yes, I believe that it's still within reasonable limits. So for feedback, first of all, we have a discourse uh, channel, how oh, it works. Uh, so Jenkins Contributor Summit feedback. So if you want to discuss it in this course, uh, here's a channel for you, or sort of topic. So just put your feedback here, uh, register. It's just a registration through GitHub, and then you can post a comment. Um, it takes a few seconds. Then Slack, uh, everyone uh, from this session is on Slack. So we will keep it open for a while. We want it uh, archived maybe for one week or so. So please uh, drop any feedback there if you want. And yeah, t-shirts. So if you want to get them, there is a feedback form. Please fill it out. It's actually not a huge deal. So there is only one required question. How was the event? All the rest is optional, but we will appreciate feedback. Um, and uh, yeah, if you reach the end, uh, spoiler alert for those who are here, you can actually order a t-shirt. So this feedback form is anonymous. But the t-shirt feedback form is not anonymous because we need shipping address and all other kinds of personal data. Uh, so yeah, by filling it out, you agree with us uh, storing this personal data for some time before Alice uh, sends t-shirts and then we will delete it. So we do not store uh, this information, do not send spam, etc. cetera. And uh, yeah, again, any feedback will be appreciated. And as I said before, we intend to do the next event in Asian and Pacific time zone. So ready for the next summit there. Uh, there are three yes answers. Please choose uh, one you prefer. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, the plan. And yeah, thanks to CloudBiz for sponsoring t-shirts. Uh, I believe there will be stickers and other things. Uh, we using Jenkins is the way, uh, but yeah, again, if you want to contribute artwork for the next summit, you're welcome to do so. We will appreciate that. Okay, so for moderators, what's next? So I can't ask you that if you led the sessions to take a look at the meeting notes, etc., write down action items, decisions. Uh, if you want, you can write blog posts about that, or for example, a discourse uh, post, uh, which is much easier. Yeah, publish materials because many sessions had slides, many sessions recorded were recorded. So we kindly ask you to publish these materials and let us know because uh, we will be able to. Uh, again, from all them. Uh, if you've seen the UI UX Hackfest, uh, uh, so many of you participated there, I believe. So there we just used GitHub repository, we dropped all the content there. So for example, here presentations, we had quite a lot of presentation and for example, migrating plugin docs, just first random one. So here you can find the uh, guidelines and the recording, uh, references, etc. So uh, something like that, and it's available as code if you want it marked down. It's one of the ways, another way just to put them on discourse. Again, with all the links uh, as you prefer, but we will appreciate if you could uh, post these sessions. And for recordings, uh, how to do that, uh, you can post them, uh, for example, on your Google Drive, make it public. And then for Mark uh, or maybe somebody else from uh, YouTube managers, they will publish them, uh, process them uh, and uh, make them available to everyone. And then we will be able to use our uh, social media, etc., to promote events. Because we've had a lot of great demos, we definitely should promote. Uh, for example, GitHub actions, uh, the conversation was awesome. Yanis uh, did uh, great demos, uh, Angelic, uh, uh, Batista uh, for go up update, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So there is a lot of great content to share and why not? And spread the word. So whatever, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, community Jenkins, I, it's much appreciated. Again, uh, Jenkins community needs uh, more contributors and uh, needs more users and uh, doing promotion is uh, one of the ways to get that. 
uh, if it's related to particular decisions, it, you can use special interest group mailing list, the developer mailing list. For example, for jobs, etc., we still expect it to happen in mailing list. So for uh, informal discussions, community Jenkins IO is fine. For formal decision making, we kindly ask to use uh, mailing list at the moment. Uh, and external communities, for example, tectonic reliability, cloud events, open telemetry, please use uh, these external channels as well. Uh, because again, uh, uh, working together with other communities is our opportunity. So why not? Uh, Jenkins uh, shouldn't be just a lockdown in its own community. That's why we started working with foundations, talking to end users, etc. because we should be more open. And uh, yeah, I hope that we will make uh, Jenkins a uh, great place to contribute for everyone, even if you don't write code. And yeah, as an event officer, I invite everyone to think about doing combined meetup, especially for those who did uh, user-facing sessions or developer-facing sessions, because we do developer meetups as well. Because yeah, Jenkins Online Meetup is another platform for us to promote events. And if you have a talk, why not presenting that? Okay, and yeah, also apply to one of the next conferences, but yeah, DevOps World uh, call for papers is over. Uh, maybe we'll have contributor summit there. Uh, maybe we'll have something for, for users, but it's uh, to be determined. So at the moment, uh, Jenkins Online Meetup is actually the best uh, opportunity.